us a little bit about the structure of the book? I mean, how does the book work? Um, well, yeah, sure. Um, so, um, generally, well, there are several chapters, of course, in this book, and the, the first three chapters um, provide the general background um, in terms of late ancient Greek philosophy, Syriac tradition, and the Greek Arabic tra translation movement. And then the further chapters um, focus either on, on a single individual thinker or on a group of thinkers that are classed together because they um, work in one tradition, like people working in the tra tradition of Al Kindi, for example, or Ismaili thinkers in the ninth chapter. <clears throat> so that's the um, macro structure, if you, if you like. Um, if you go to the in individual chapters, they would. Um, you, at the beginning of the chapter, you would find um, the primary sources listed that would include works of this particular person, in this case Al Farabi, um, but also testimonia, so primary sources written by other people about this person. Um, then the text proper starts with biographical information, um, biography, and then uh, you get to the to the list of works and description of works that Ulrich has mentioned before. So all the works of the author would be listed, whether extant or not, and the extant works would be described in detail. And after that, you get to a general account, an overall account of the doctrine of this thinker. And um, at the end of the chapter, you'd find a list of secondary sources. Um, the primary sources are listed and numbered with numbers in italics, and the secondary sources are listed numbered with Roman numbers, so you can easily dis distinguish these two in the, within the text when they are refer referred to by these numbers. So that's the, that would be the microstructure of the, of the chapter. And, um, of course, the book also has indices. We've got an in index of names and an index of subjects. And we have an index of Arabic words, like um, technical terms, for example, that would lead you to the index of subjects, to the English equivalent, basically, of the Arabic term. And then you could find uh, uh, this Arabic term um, as it appears in a specific, a specific work, for example. You could find on which page that would be uh, retreated and dealt with. Mm -hmm.